Hello friends, it's Miss Rue again, and I also have Annabella, and I'm reading the story, The Rainbow Fish, by Marcus Pfister. Please listen, because I have some questions for you at the end. And please, don't forget to look at these beautiful pictures. I love the pictures. Yeah, they're me too. They're very pretty. The Rainbow Fish. I'm By Marcus Pfister. All right, you ready? A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple, with sparkling silver scales among them. Wow, they're so sparkly. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, he called. Wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful and you have so many. What do you think rainbow fish is going to do? Ooh. I don't know. Let's see. Let's wait and see. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? cried Rainbow Fish. Get away from me! Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset, he told all his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with Rainbow Fish. They turned away when he swam by. When you were two? Why is it a boy only has scales? But it has scales. All fishies have scales. Why is it beautiful scales? Because sometimes boys have beautiful things too. We're listening. Ready? Oh, look at how beautiful it is. Look at all the colors. What good were dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day, he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to the deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. Oh, you're blocking the pictures. Can you please sit down in your chair? The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside, and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly, two eyes caught him in their glare, and the octopus emerged from the darkness. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. Oh. I can't, Rainbow Fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into the dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales? My beautiful shining scales? Never! How could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very, very small shimmery scale, he thought. 
Well, maybe I won't miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you, thank you very much, the little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he had watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. I want to see if... Wow, what did rainbow fish just do? She shared. She shared. <gasps> Was that a good thing to do? Oh, let's see what happens. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing. So it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right. And the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. So I'm going to put a little bit closer. Hopefully you can see the other scales on the fishies. And even more on this page. Even shiny scales. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possession had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. Oh, wasn't that beautiful? What happened in the beginning of that story, Annabella? Well, he did share his scale. His scale. That's right, the fishies asked him to share, and he did not share. What happened in the middle of the story? He shared. Oh. No, before that, he didn't want to share. He How did he share. feel? He feeling very sad. He feeling very sad. Why was he sad? Because no one wanted to play with him. Oh, and then what happened? And then the octopus told him something. The octopus told him to do what? To, to, to give away his scales. And he, and he would not might be the prettiest fish in the sea anymore. But he would be very... Happy. Happy, that's right. And Rainbow Fish was very happy and had lots of friends. Sharing is caring. All right. Thank you, friends, for listening to the Rainbow Fish. And thank you, Annabella, for helping retell the story. Mm -hmm.